Photographers, have you guys seen the new update to Lightroom? It is incredible. Before, when you would uh, do any kind of cloning or healing, it was pretty much a pain in the butt to do in Lightroom, and oftentimes we had to take it over into Photoshop. But check out the new generative AI that is now inside Photoshop. There's even object aware, which means basically means you can kind of be sloppy with your selection and it will find the object for you. I went ahead and turned it off here. I'm gonna go ahead and select all these objects in this room. Now, typically you could do it one by one and, and choose each one and kind of go through, which I think will be actually you probably have more success doing it that way. But I'm going to show you, I'm just going to select myself here. I'm going to select the floor. I'm going to jump over and select this other stand. Now, if I were to release the mouse, it will allow me to continue selecting more objects, but I'm just going to select it all at one time here. In fact, here, I'll release it and I'm just going to show you. I'll come up here and I'll select a little bit more. Now, the crazy thing is, like I said before, this used to take so much time into Photoshop. You'd have to export the file, then import it back into Lightroom. Now, all you got to do is select it, hit apply, and guys, this is crazy. Watch this. And here we go. Boom. Insane, right? Now, if you don't like the results, there's different variations down here at the bottom. You can kind of click between them and see which one you like the best. I'm gonna go back to this variation one, and you saw on the bottom left hand, it looks like it created some kind of box or something. So I'm gonna just select that one more time. I mean, I still can't believe how good it did for the first selection. And I'll hit apply and boom. That is insane. Let's try it on this image. This one is a very complex background over here. So again, this time I'm actually gonna select object aware so I can try to just kind of be sloppy with the selection and see if it will actually pick out the object for me. Um, and let's see. Dang, that looks so good. I love it. Okay, let's try it on the other side real quick. Now I have noticed that when I want to add something after I've selected the first time, that it doesn't do object to wear the second time. It kind of, at least it seems like it just does additive, you know, doesn't doesn't do object to wear basically. But either way, I'm gonna hit apply. And let's see what this crazy background, you got all those pipes and, and uh, ladders and different textures and things going on in the background and watch this. All right, here we go. Dang, isn't that insane, you guys? Holy smokes. This is gonna save so much time. I'll jump in, edit the photo a little bit more, and boom, I'm done. Insane. All right, let's try it again on this shot here. Again, I'm gonna go right over to the generative AI. I have object to wear selected. I'm gonna just select down. I'm gonna see if I can select the whole light stand plus the assistant over here and just see again with object aware I don't have to be super fine-tuned on my selection I just kind of have to kind of mention where it's at now it looks like it selected the top and it didn't quite select when I selected the assistant didn't get his arm didn't get the stand I'm gonna try it one more time just kind of do an additive here and see if I can get everything dude this is crazy you guys what a game changer this is all right, I'm gonna try it on one more shot here. I My mind is just completely blown with this. This shot is actually kind of a behind the scenes. You can see me leaning down there taking the shot. I got um, the stand in the background with a backpack attached to it that you can see through these desert bushes. Uh, I'm gonna try to get myself out of it. So again, we got the texture of the bushes. We got the backpack in the background. We got the, um, the bag. Let's see, I'm gonna get myself here. There's a little something over here in the corner. I don't even know what that is. It might be a rock, but I'm gonna try to get it anyways. Might as well, right? I mean, this is so easy. All right, let's see. Let's see the results. Are you gonna blow my mind again? Holy smokes, check that out. That is absolutely incredible. Um, it looks like it missed just a small part in between the bush here, so I'm gonna select that. Do it one more time on apply. And it picked it right up. Just truly insane results. Guys, if you're not updating or if you don't have Lightroom updated yet, go get it updated because it is truly a game changer. And it is so easy to get rid of light stands and other things when you're doing your photos. Truly, truly amazing. Be sure to share this with your friends. If you like the tips here, be sure to like and follow the account. Thanks, guys. Take care.